Harry and Ron eventually made it safely to Hogwarts. Or so they thought. Unfortunately, they landed within reach of the Whomping Willow. Harry must rescue Ron from the Whomping Willow and get into school before their absence is noticed. really close. I didn't think we'd make it out of the tunnel. Excellent, Harry. To face Hogwarts. Try and land the car in the castle ground. There's something wrong with the car. I don't have control anymore. By the time Harry and Ron had escaped from the Whomping Willow, the sorting ceremony had already begun. They peered in at the Great Hall and watched as the aged old sorting hat placed new students into the four Hogwarts houses as it had for so many years past. Harry remembered putting the sorting hat on a year ago, and for a few horrible seconds, he had feared the hat was going to put him into Slytherin. 
along with Draco Malfoy, not Slytherin. Well, if you're sure, better be Gryffindor. But of course, he had ended up in Gryffindor, along with Ron and Hermione. As they watched the sorting, Harry noticed that at least one teacher was missing from the staff table. Hang on, where's Snake? And then, from behind him, came the voice Harry dreaded to hear. It was Professor Snape, Harry's least favorite teacher. I'm waiting to hear why you two didn't arrive on the school train. It was a great start to the term, thought Harry, as they followed Snape to his office. Once there, Snape nastily admonished them about flying the car to Hogwarts. You will go immediately to your common room, and I will think about how to punish you. right into the Wamping Willow. People will be talking about that one for years. Brilliant! What an entrance! We'd better get to the common room before Snape sees us. 